Hello, hello, hello! The market's in the day bullish. We got a lot to go over. My name is D7 here, Grok. A trade in the market's in the day. Bullish, 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 bullish. We have the NASDAQ up more than 1%. Small caps almost doing the same. And banks higher. Financials a little laggy here. U.S. dollar down. Crude oil up 2.7%. Gold higher by more than 1%. Silver down by 1%. And VIX decreasing. Fear decreasing by 5.6%. Let's take a look at the markets as a whole. Okay, before I do, before I do, I, at the end of this video, and I'm going to give everybody a warning. If you do not want to hear about the mentorship that we're doing this weekend, I'm going to give you a warning so you can bail, so you can jet, you can turn off the video. At the end, I'm going to tell you about this weekend. It just happened today that we put this together. I want to give you an opportunity. More on that later. Okay, so here's the deal. The spider, the ETF on the S&P 500, we had a buy call on it, August 22nd. Chopped around, chopped around, chopped around. A little scare here, pop, boom, we go higher. Here's the deal. We are above all major moving averages, but do you see this coming across this line right here? That is a big time area of resistance. We got near there, sniffed that line, and sellers came in and brought it right back down. We did clear this area, so because of that, I'm gonna get rid of this line. So we're at a resistance area on the S&P, okay? So we are there. Let's see what's happening here on the Dow. And we got a lot of, we're, let's look at the, let's look at the um, Dow 30 stocks and we'll look at technical stocks. All I'm gonna give you the full enchilada. You're gonna get a lot of stocks here, okay? The Dow, up, 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 up. We had a buy back here on August 22nd, up, but we doji, right here at a double area of resistance see that that's going to be it that's that's a problem area closing out this is the last day of august we're going into september tomorrow which will end the week going into labor day weekend so man this weekend video is going to be huge do not miss this weekend's video okay all right so that's a problem on the dow the nasdaq the nasdaq did something amazing today Boom, closing at the day's high, breaking resistance. That is huge. We put a buy on back on the 22nd, and it is looking very strong. It's leading the markets to the upside. Small caps, let's see what's happening. Small caps. If you look here, oh, I have the Fibonacci's on here. The Fibonacci's, if you looked, is 61.8. Let me get rid of that. We don't want to, we're getting too deep for the scope of our videos here but anyway we go higher 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 we stall out at the 50-day moving average acting as resistance again this is the russell's 2000 this is small caps but look how bullish this has been anyway but we're finding resistance here at the moving average quick look here at the banks the banks were at resistance but this is a falling wedge which is bullish and we could break out to the upside financials Financials yesterday had a buy on that. Boom. We did go slightly higher, but it's a stutter step. We're we're just, we're, we're not breaking out yet. We need to break out if the markets are going to keep going higher. But I think we got some resistance ahead of us. U.S. dollar. U.S. dollar. We have a buy on it. I'm staying with my buy, but it's, it went under, I mean, it's under pressure as of today, Thursday. Crude oil had a big pop. Oh, we have Oh, I was going to add a buy, but all right, I have a buy. So there, my buy is still on on crude oil. Gold, I have a buy, and today, big pop. Really came close yesterday putting a sell on it, but it just didn't drop enough for me to do it, and the buy is still in full effect. Full effect, same thing, same thing on the spider, or silver, silver, silver. Silver is a buy. Silver is looking really strong right now. This weekend edition video, we're going to look at weekly charts. We're going to look at monthly charts. We're going to be looking at a lot. Quick look here at the VIX. Yesterday, we have a sell and we are dropping. Okay, let's go and look at some charts. Let's look at Dow 30. Let's go up here to Apple. 
take a gander here at Apple. We got a buy on Apple. This is back on the 22nd. We keep going higher, 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 higher. Looking pretty strong, but a little top heavy here. We need to build a base. And a X a P American Express. We're down, 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 down. And I have to put a buy on that today. Okay. There it is. This is Boeing. I got a buy on it. It's staying above the moving averages, but it looks like it's wanting to and this thing could go either direction. You gotta be careful with it. Caterpillar. Yesterday had a breakout boom. Did go higher, but it's under pressure right now. Cisco have a buy on it back on the 22nd. It keeps going higher, but we're coming into some resistance areas on Cisco. CVX put a buy on it on the 24th. Building a high base. Guys, this is more bullish than is uh, bearish. Chevron, look for it to keep going higher. And we have DuPont yesterday buy boom. And today we did pop, but a lot of sellers came into it. Disney. Ooh, we need to put a sell. No, I already have a sell on it. So my sell on Disney was back here on August 2nd, and it continues to be a sell. GE, had a, I have a buy on that as of the 25th, trying to go higher, but it looks like he's trying to find a bottom here. Goldman Sachs yesterday, we dropped Boom, I said I was, I'd be looking to put a buy on it. Sure enough, I did. Today, we did go higher, but we're finding resistance at the 15 and 20 day moving averages. Home Depot put a sell on it. A very nice day, it went higher, but it's still nothing but a series of red candlesticks. I'm going to stay with my sell. IBM, I have a sell on it, and I'm going to. I'm going to stick with my sell. Even though this is a high base, this is getting ready to go bullish. And I'll have to, I'm going to eat my call on this one. And anyway, I'm going to, it looks like it's going to go bullish. And that's going to be what's going to go against me. Intel yesterday popped and it's now heading higher. Let's see if it can keep going. Johnson and Johnson today, I added a buy to it, but we have the 20 and 50 day moving average acting as resistance. JP Morgan got a sell on it. I'm going to stick with my sell. Coca-Cola, today I put a buy on it, but we got the 20-day moving average we need to pop through. So buy on Coca-Cola for all my friends over there. And Well, all my friends. I know the COO, well, former COO of Coca-Cola. Anyway, um, a buy here on McDonald's. I don't know of any, uh, personally, any executives at McDonald's um, looking very strong, high base. Look for a breakout on McDonald's. 3M did put a buy on it yesterday, but it's dogeed out already. Really no follow through today. Merck, and there's this high base pop breakout called a buy on the 21st, and it has just gone bonkers to the upside. Yesterday, breakout, boom, breaking resistance, and we did have follow through. That's what I want to see. If you break out of a trend line, I want to see follow through to the upside because that's where the money is. Nike put a sell on it back here on the 16th of August, and it just keeps climbing southbound. Pfizer today, big pop, boom, to the upside, put a buy on Pfizer. Procter Gamble today put a buy on Procter and Gamble. Let's see if it keeps going higher. TRB, I put a sell on it on the 11th of August and it just says crashed and burned. Crashed and burned. UNH put a buy on it on the 24th and we are quite a bit higher. Very nice to see that. UTX, big buy on this. Boom, and more follow through. But we're finding resistance at the falling 50-day moving average. Visa, got a buy on it, building a high base. Look for that to go higher. Verizon, put a sell on it yesterday. We are starting to drop. Be careful with this one. This could get slippery and quickly. Look at the volume on the sell side. Walmart, put a sell on this dude back on the 10th. And we just keep climbing southbound. Exxon. Right here, big sell on the 10th, and we keep going lower. If it pops up here soon, which it may, I'm looking to put a buy on that. Okay, let's go to the tech stocks. You guys dig those. And um, anyway, hey, do you like this video? Do you like seeing my ugly mug on the video? <laughs> 
I don't know if I'll keep doing this or not. Uh, please give me feedback on this. I heard from a guy who signed up for this weekend for mentoring. He says, I love, he's been listening to me since 2005. I've been watching my videos since then. I said, why are you just now signing up? And he said, his words, not mine. He goes, I'm a hard-headed German. And it's sometimes we just think we can do things on our own <laughs> anyway. But um, he's been listening a long time, but he goes, Des, I love seeing your face now. It just adds a human element to it. Um, he's been to my trading club too. He's traveled from out of state into my trading club um, here where I reside in Indianapolis, north side. Anyway, um, let's Let's go to, we already looked at Apple. Let's go to Amazon. Yesterday put a buy on it. Boom, Amazon. We are going higher. Let's see if that can keep going higher. Baba put a buy on it. But look at this. We're already starting to show weakness right after the bounce off of this support area, which I fully expected when we talked about that. Um, Cisco put a buy on it back on the 22nd, and we keep going higher. But be careful with this one. We need to look for a pullback, and it could be, yeah, so just we need a pullback before we can get into that one. What I call catfish, cognizant technologies, put a buy on it. Today, there's our buy on that. Like the volume, really like what I'm seeing. Let's see if we can follow through. eBay yesterday put a buy because it broke resistance, and we did go higher. And we need to stay above this blue line. Facebook yesterday put a break. We had a breakout over the 20-day moving average, and we are moving higher. I know I'm moving very quickly here, guys. You can always pause the video. Feel free to always do that. But look at this. Up, 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 bull flag. That's why you see so many buy and sells here. This turned into a bull flag. Now it's starting to release and break out to the upside. This could get to $176 fairly fast. I don't know any executives at Facebook personally, but a lot of you guys listening and watching do. So just know that Facebook is looking really bullish to me right now to the upside. And... Google, we got a pop to the upside over moving averages. Let's see if that happens. Google, same thing, pop to the upside, alphabet. All right, GoPro, today I put a buy on it. Today, there's my buy on GoPro. I need volume, I'm not seeing it yet. And so anyway, we'll see if that plays out. Microsoft, put a buy on it on the breakout, which I think we already looked at this one, but that's going higher. NVIDIA, 2.3% today, yesterday we, had a buy and it did pop. Very nice. Oracle yesterday popped. A lot of buy calls yesterday because we just got getting above those moving averages. We're making higher highs, higher lows. Just a lot of calls yesterday. And we have volume. Let's see if we can get more upside on Oracle. Priceline yesterday had our pop. Boom. I want to put them on a day early, but I need confirmation. You know, you, as you guys know in the video, say, hey, I'm looking for this to only go higher. I'm looking for confirmation. There's my confirmation, and there's the release to the upside. PayPal yesterday had a call on it, but today we're already, under, I mean, I'm not sure if we're going to keep heading higher. we got to see. Red Hat is at resistance. Here's the deal. i got to buy on this, but and I want to put a sell on it, but I need confirmation. I'm not going to put a sell on it yet. Red Hat is at resistance. Look for the drop. For you guys who have been following me for any time at all, you know these trend lines are spot on. It's not easy to draw those. You have to know. It's a science to draw all these trend lines. You've got to know what you're doing. I do uh, teach that in mentoring. Anyway, here we have a lower high, lower low yesterday. That triggered a drop. And because of that sell, today we did. And we, man, people sold into it all the way to the bottom on Snap. So this is Snap. Had a buy, nice run, now we're selling. But I think it's gonna be short-lived. We'll get to the support line, the rising 20-day moving average, and that will be a buy opportunity for us. Twitter, put a buy on it on the 28th. We're struggling to get higher, but we need to get above 200-day moving average in the 50 and then rally to the north. Okay, here's your chance. You can turn off the video right now. You are done if you're not interested in mentoring. So thank you for being a part, okay? Thanks, see you guys later. All right, for everybody else, here's the deal. This weekend, we weren't doing it, and the last we had a last-second thing come up where a business owner out of Michigan says, I want to do mentoring, but I'm a business owner. would really like to do it this weekend, okay, this weekend. We're going to do it this weekend because it's Labor Day weekend So he because he's going to be off on Monday. So this Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, we have a mentorship. A lot of you guys thought about, hey, I'd like to do a mentorship at some point. Great. 
Now listen, here, let me, for you engineer types, a lot of you guys are engineer types. Let me just speak to you with just the facts, okay? Here are just the facts. It's gonna start at 8 a.m. on Saturday. It's gonna be done online. So what's gonna happen is if you wanna get in on the mentorship this weekend, what's gonna happen is you'll take care of tuition, we'll send you a link, that link, is going to give you access okay first there's an agreement that you'll sign off on saying that we are educators we are not financial advisors we can't tell you what to buy or what to sell but we can tell you how to do it and we do that very well okay once we get that you'll get a link okay that link would be your access to get on so we all have webcams like this we all have headsets and we're talking you get to see our screens our charts you get to see everything that we're doing and we take you behind the scenes. We say this is how we actually trade in the markets, okay? Now, the what you see there at the top is the web, the, uh, oh, you, that's the URL to schedule a call with me, okay? That'd be for Friday only. Schedule a call with me Friday to talk about this weekend. Please don't schedule a call if you're not wanting to talk about this weekend, okay? I only got a few slots open and you'll see that. I think four or five slots open for tomorrow. First come, first serve, put it in there. Only do it if you are serious and you have the ability to pay for mentoring. You have the ability to trade in the markets, okay? You gotta have the resources and means to do that. Okay, that said, you will have a, you'll be, together with others you can bring a friend with you a spouse a friend free of charge they will shadow you they'll be part of it they can be from another they can connect from another computer no problem we'll also make sure that you get a book a book will be sent to you and definitely by saturday we'll get the pdf to you so you have that but that's not important all the information will be given to you from 8 in the morning until 3 p.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, Eastern, okay? So if you're from the East Coast or um, Pacific Coast, okay, if you're on the West Coast, it's going to be a 5 a.m. start for you, okay? It's going to be a little earlier, but you're going to get out around noon. <laughs> so it's going to give you the rest of the day on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So it's all three days. Whew. With that, I'm going to throw in the 201s. You're going to, I'm going to throw in lifelong mentoring for you also. Um, simply means that you will be mentored for life. You have direct access to us on an ongoing basis. No longer are you by yourself. So what will you get out of all this? You will know how to find the best big, <laughs> the, the best stocks out there to trade. Never again will you struggle with finding what, trades to get into then we're going to show you precisely how to find money in the charts you're looking at chart after chart after chart and leaving money on the table those days are gone those are over we're going to show you exactly where that money is and how to find it we're going to show you how to enter and where to enter on the penny never again will you wonder where do i get in we're going to show you how to protect yourself in every trade that you're in there's different stop loss strategies we use and how to exit our trades and maximize profits. We're going to share those with you. We get into the business part of trading. This is about professional trading. It's about expert level trading. Then we're going to get into how to manage your trading like a business. So this can be something you do not as a gambler, but we're going to approach it as a business. So we're like the house where we stack the odds in our favor. On top of all that, we're gonna give you some software, the trade log software. So I'm gonna really pack it full of a lot of stuff that you're gonna receive. Anyway, that's that's the facts, okay? That's the facts. We'll go over tuition pricing tomorrow, uh, Friday, if you sign up to do a scheduled call with me. No obligation. There is a 100% uh, money back guarantee. So those are kind of behind. We can talk about that on our call. Anyway, this weekend, if you want your trading life to change forever, this weekend is your opportunity. Hope to talk to you tomorrow. So all you do, click on that link. Don't click on it. Go to that website. <laughs> Go to that website there at the top. Once you go there, schedule your time. 
So only do it if you're committed to look at this very seriously. Okay? Hope to chat with you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye.